Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. Turning off my fan here. Um, today is a fun day. We'll see how it goes because it's use up my leftover uh, paints day. So I have just a ton of them to use up. I have huh, a lot of piggies. I've got ballet slipper or Grenache, cappuccino, mango, salmon. I have, um, I think it's Australian, like Sienna, uh, red gold or something like that. I don't remember. And then this is golden peach, harvest gold. Then I just have some Van Dyke brown. So these are not piggies so far. Everything else is piggies. And then some Nico Azo Gold. So you'll see a theme here. Lots of red, pink, gold, oranges type thing. Browns. Um, and then I'll do another one with my leftover blues, greens, purples. So let's just get started. Um, I also have some sample pillow paint. Some mist tint from Sherwin-Williams. And it is called uh, Desert Canyon. Or let me see. Um, Canyon Clay, sorry, Canyon Clay. So I have added some GAC 800 to this. I figure this kind of rusty red brown background would be good with these colors on it. So we'll see. We'll see. And you know, I should have poured this into, because this is a mist in that's been around for a while. So I probably should have poured this into a cup first to get any clumps out, and I didn't, and I know I've got some, so I'm going to have to go through this with a skewer. There's my pillow. And see if I can fish some out. Because I know I felt one go in over here, right? See? I saw it slash felt it. Big clump. Let's see, though. Where there's one, there may be more. I think there's one here. A clump of some sort. I I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there, yes, okay. And then, let's see. I thought I felt two clumps come out, but could have been more. Should have poured it into a cup first. <laughs> oh, see, there was another one. Sorry, everyone. But it's a little trick. I mean, you want to try and get it out now before you start spinning. And notice the paint's not spinning. And I probably missed some now, guys. I know there's another one there. Yep. All right. I'm not trying to rush, but... And this, it'll just spread a little bit out towards the corners so they get a little bit wet. This little doggy pool isn't quite big enough, but I'm going to make it do. <laughs> okay. So there's my pillow paint. Canyon clay. And now, I don't know, let's start with maybe some of the ore. I have so much paint. So let's just... My goal here is... Just use up as many pots as I can. I'm probably going to have way too much paint for this, but I'm going to go for it. And then I'm going to go soak my little pots. And So now I'm going to do some cappuccino on top of that. Get ready to go um, for a long weekend. Well, half a day Friday and then... Saturday and Sunday. It happens to be Mother's Day weekend. And we rented um, a nice place in Ohio at Kalahari. It's an indoor water park and hotel. And so I think we'll have fun. That'll be a fun way to spend Mother's Day with the kids. 
couple of them anyways. The other one can't make it. That's okay. So now we're going to throw some salmon in there. I got a lot of salmon. Or sockeye. I don't know why I call it salmon. Now let's get some Grenache. Woo! Use that up. Look at it. So much paint. It's okay. I'm going for it. Use it. Some of these have been sitting around for a couple months. You know, it's just time to use them up. Kind of reinvigorated them. Let's see. Let's do some golden peach. Now let's do some harvest gold. There's only a little bit of that. Oh, dear. I'm, I didn't even check the quantity of... See, I have some leftover different color um, cell activators also. All right, now let's put down... Some of this ballet slipper. Guys, I'm just going crazy. All right. Get that all used up. Now, let's see. I can't use up all the sockeye. I just can't. And I haven't put any of the ballet slipper down, but I don't feel like I need it. So now let's do, I believe, I'm going to double check the Spandike Brown. It is an opaque, so that's kind of what I want right here. This could just be a terrible, horrible mistake. <laughs> Shift this back here. Okay, now this Australian and the Nickel Azo Gold. Let me check those transparencies real quick. This is the red gold. It's a transparent. And then where is my Nickel Azo? Or the Australian Sienna. It's one of those two, but they're both transparents. Oh, and the Nickel Azo, I believe, is all right. So I'm going to go with the Nico Azo here. And then I'm going to go with this Australian Red Gold. Let's put that on top there. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> so much paint. I don't know. It's going to be just a humongous mess. But might as well give it a try. Let me get my cell activator. Okay. I don't have a lot already mixed up. Um. Not of the black anyways, not a ton. Stir this up real quick. But I have got some gold also. So probably between the two. Okay, first I'm going to put down, first I'm going to tilt it back. And I'm going to put down my black cell activator. Using that up too. And now some gold cell activator. Okay. Definitely using a tool to blow this around. I think I'm going to use not the Yeho. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna use my Revlon hot air tool. Oops, it's not working. There we go. Give her a go.
let's just give that a minute or two to kind of come back together here. I love how my Grenache came out a little bit there. Yay! I'm not going to be able to spin it very fast because it's kind of too small. I'll just spin it a little. But I definitely want to work on that middle a little. So I'll get a straw. It's kind of waiting to see if it would come back together a little bit. But that's maybe a little bit too much. It could have been fun with that kind of gold in the middle, but eh. These kind of little mini petals in the middle will be kind of could be kind of fun. I don't know though. I feel like I may want to just go on in and kind of do a design. I always have my skewer handy. So let's just There's a hair on it. That's not good. It's not exactly perfect, but we'll see. All right, let's give it a little bit of a spin. Whoa! <laughs> Here's another glob of paint. Right, I think, oh my gosh, got more globs. Glob of paint. So I've got two that I can see. So a glob of paint here. Word to the wise. Pour your paints out in a cup. Now I feel like I'm going to need to spin a little more. I thought it was done, but I was just going to cover this, but then I saw those globbies. Let's just spin a little more to... Kind of move that paint around naturally where I fished out the stuff. I think I would have liked this better without my Nico Azel and my Australian Sienna. Because I really like the oranges and the reds and stuff out here. Oh, I love that sockeye. And the granola. Oh, I've got some, I actually have some pretty fun looking stuff. I just am not happy with that uh, stark kind of. I think it may be, it could be the Nico Azel, but it also could be that um, Australian Sienna. Right there, the transparents. That's, I'm not super happy with, but by and large, considering this was a great big, huge mess. So I'm just going to pull the paint over this side here. And we'll see how it dries. It's going to dry a little bit darker anyways, right? And let's see. Oh, that's just where I pulled it over the side. Okay. One more little tiny spin just for that. Where I pulled it over to kind of zhuzh. Not a fast spin. 
I feel like the center is pretty much in the center and the design stayed kind of nice. I mean, considering I did a swirl there, it's not bad. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to do anything else and juice it, but I don't think so. I think I'll just leave it like that. We'll see how it dries. The darker colors, like how it all ends up. Oh, I think I would have really loved it with just the pinks and reds and oranges and just all the piggies instead of and just done the Van Dyke Brown and forgotten this kind of Nico Azo and Australian Sienna. They would be pretty maybe with a white, but I wanted the black cell activator. I feel like the gold is pretty much lost in there. The gold uh, cell activator, not the gold piggies. I mean, that's beautiful out here. I'll bring you down uh, real quick and then I'll, I'll move it to my drying table because this surely is not level. <laughs> I cannot leave it there. All right, I guess I'm just gonna have to take off my gloves. I was gonna try and wipe them. Oops, sorry. All right, there really is quite a bit of delicious shimmer in this. Um, and I feel like the colors are pretty nice with that, you know, brown background. Just, ugh, that center, but it could be all right. It could dry and look great. I love, there's a lot of really nice shimmer. There's a lot of really nice cells that spill over the edge. Um, there's actually quite a few peacocky cells in here. Very nice um, actual peacocky cells that just look beautiful. I love the um, Grenache and the Golds. I put a Harvest Gold right next to that. I put the ore on the bottom and I put the Harvest Gold right next to the Grenache on purpose because ugh, that's de just delicious yumminess. And I love the sockeye. Ah, oh, all right. So there she is, 16 by 20. Use up the leftover. I'm trying to not have that. <laughs> In fact, hold on. I'll move it to my drawing table and we'll take a little bit better look without that glare. Okay, so I've moved it over to my drawing table, which is level. Um, I checked for any more clumps. I think I found one more little small one. And I popped a few bubbles with my skewer, some of the bigger ones. And you can see where the bubbles popped, like where I went in, like right there. But I like to do it if there's a couple really big prominent ones while it's nice and fresh so the paint can kind of go in and surround it. <clears throat> Ooh, almost fell. So there it is, um, actually. It doesn't look half bad. Um, got lots and lots of pretty shimmer. Um, I just wish the center was maybe more brown instead of the um, sienna, Australian sienna, but that's all right. Look at that. It's got some really nice, it's got a nice shape. It's got some nice ribbons of color along the outside. It's got some nice cells, some peacocky cells, as well as some just nice schmears. I call them schmears. <laughs> you know, schmears of colors. So there it is. That's a good way to use up a lot of leftover paint, in my opinion. And I think those colors worked well with that background color. And uh, so, yeah, have fun painting, everyone. This 16 by 20, I'm going to just, I'm getting ready to leave for the weekend so I'm just going to cover it before I leave and come back and hopefully she will have dried nicely. So wish me luck and um, to all the moms out there, happy Mother's Day and to everyone else, happy Sunday. <laughs> all right. Bye everyone.